O'Neill is a friend, sure, but there's a bigger picture too. The dollar flu won't go away anytime soon, and we'll need skilled doctors if we're ever gonna get out of this mess. People like Doc O'Neill and that woman Kendall back at Trinity. Here we go, buckle up! Find the hostages. We gotta hurry. God knows what that psycho Jax is planning for O'Neill and the others. Come on, let's roll. Too late to run. You fucking pay for that. Let's keep moving. We'll go through. More of them. How many of these bastards are there? I need some cover. Shit. Where are the hostages? I ain't telling you shit. My knee! God, it hurts! I'll ask again. Where are the hostages? Jack got him up by the statue. Oh, he's crazy. He's loading the supplies up to a ferry and rigging the whole place to ball. I... Mercy kill. We're out of time. What the hell? We're SHD. This is not how we do things. That man was unarmed. You think he'd hesitate to pick up another gun and shoot us in the back? Safer this way. Let's move. We're losing time. That freak Jax hurt the dock or the other hostages. Damn. 
You'll need to defuse that thing. I'm not great with Please, wires. Help us! Look how it's connected to the door. We can't get those people out unless you disarm it. I'll cover from here. Don't leave us in here! Be careful! D was never my thing. Let's get him out. Sarah? Oh, thank God you came. Would never leave you hanging, Doc. Agent, meet Doc O'Neill, a genius researcher I'm proud to call my friend. I'm grateful to you both. Did you catch that freak, Jax? He's over by the ferry, I think. He's next. We'll catch up later, Doc. Let's move! Reprobate got lucky. My aim's busted. We gotta stop Jax. I'll go after him. Can you escort the civvies to safety? Crafty bastards will want your six. Cigars are on me when you get back. Kelly here. The hostages are safe, and the dock too. Now, waste that clown and we'll call it a day.
You then. Oh, <laughs> but I did. You and your kind. <laughs> your days are over. Society is just a sham. All it took was a hyped up flu to tear it all down. <laughs> You're wrong. We'll get through this. We'll rebuild. Yeah, you tell yourself that. Lucky for you. Santa came early this year. <coughs> Merry fucking Christmas. Morning, Agent. And it actually is morning, too. Good timing. Your vitals look good enough. How about you try and sit up for me? How long? Well, you missed Santa. Not that there was much to miss. And the following weeks, too. I've been out for a month? And change. Yeah, you're damn lucky Dr. O'Neill was there when they fished you out of the water. It'll be a while before you're fully recovered. But better you get back on the horse than lie around here. Besides, we need the bed. They put what they could salvage of your gear in storage. Might want to pick that up first. And then Fei Lao wants to see you over in Ops. It's not over, you know, not by a long shot. You'll have your hands full. Steady now. Did you hear? That first wave agent over in the medical wing just woke up. I hope these spells will pass soon. Who? The vegetable? Yeah, and able to walk and talk and everything. But fit for duty? Fit enough, according to Dr. Candle. Look who's up and about. How are you feeling, Agent? A little sore. <laughs> yeah. Candle told me they plucked enough shrapnel out of you to fill a bucket. I'm Agent Fei Lao, Acting Division Commander in Midtown. What's the situation? Hmm. <sighs> Better than it was, but far from good. First wave agents like you are now a rare breed. Most are either MIA, KIA, or Rogue. Chief Meyer? K.I.A. Commander Chang? K.I.A. I was there. Damn. Not long after you were injured, many first wave agents were lost in the Dark Zone. 
HOTUS activated a second wave in early January. We've been fighting to regain control of Manhattan ever since. Our biggest headache was a PMC called the Last Man Battalion. Their leader, Charles Bliss, had a pretty messed up idea of what the future should look like. But we eliminated that threat. When the guards abandoned Rikers Island, the prisoners escaped. They were wreaking havoc on the city. When we took out their leader, Loray Barrett, they scattered. Not many of them are left in Midtown. The JTF is planning an assault on one of their last strongholds in Clinton. We also had the cleaners to contend with, and their boss, Joe Farrow, the one obsessed with cleaning the city of the virus. Happy to torch anything and anyone standing in their way. We dealt with them too, for the most part. And then, there's the asshole who caused all of this. The Variola Chimera, better known as the Green Poison Virus, was engineered and released by a deranged professor named Gordon Amherst. He had some sick notion about using natural selection to save humanity. His virus would weed out the weak. Amherst is no longer a threat. He was killed by his own creation. We recovered his research, and Dr. Candle says we're close to developing a vaccine. You said agents have gone rogue. You mean they betrayed us? It's not something we like to advertise. The Alpha among them is Aaron Keener. He's still at large. In summary, the situation isn't good, but it's not as bad as it was. There are bands of Rikers still around, but it's been a while since we saw any cleaners and whatever remains of the LMB. On a happier note, I'm sure you'll be glad to know that the civvies you got out of Chinatown are alive and well. They're building a settlement here. I'm sure they'd appreciate any assistance you can give them. You might even run into an old friend or two. Things are better, but the streets aren't exactly safe. Before you head out, make sure your kit is fully stocked. Good luck out there, Agent. Dr. Kendall said you might experience some lingering effects of the coma, but she expects you to heal quickly. That's good, because we need you. The city needs you. As for me, I'll be here, trying to keep this operation from running off the rails. If you need anything, you know where to find me.